today we're taking this opportunity to address a couple of concerns our customers have. Uh, primarily, compatibility issues with our vintage speed exhaust, especially guys that have the original heater box. Now we have MT here today to address these issues, to uh, explain uh, the compatibil compatibility of our exhaust. Now, MT, yeah. thank you for being here today. Yes. Uh, one of the main questions we have is why does my vintage speed exhaust not fit my original heater box? Okay, so let's break down this question. Yeah. First, uh, I have got here is original Mexican heater box. Mm -hmm. uh, it's from in Mexican injection model 1999. Yeah. So it's a ori let's check the original measurement. Yeah. So simply when you remove your old exhaust, you will see this is two uh, heater box. So simply you have this guy, how do you call this guy? Uh, tape measure. Yeah. Tape measure. You just go to the outside and measure the far outside. So you can see here, uh, the correct number will be 649 millimeter. Okay, just outside, 648, 649, that's okay. So, if you have larger number than this or much smaller number than this, that means uh, your engine has been modified or your heater box has been modified or your heater box has been damaged before. Okay, okay. So like rust and like, you know, driving around there might be some or heat. or like, yeah. Yes. Some contortion of the actual original heater box. Yes. Okay. Um, I think the second question we, the, I mean, on that point, yes. the second question would be some customers asking, all right, so how do I measure it? Just now you showed us to how to measure the heater box. Yes. So uh, typical when people got a, or, uh, got a Volkswagen, a Type 1 engine, so they have no idea about their engine wise with, with. Yeah, the engine okay with. engine with so we will check our website you can download these two piece of paper so we'll make this available on our website and yes. we'll feature it on the store yes so that if you need these it'll be on pdf format which you can download and print it out yes uh, it'll be scaled you know one to one so you can attach it like this and um, there he goes i'm sorry no problem okay yes. so it's a uh, number two, number four, it's a mistake. So oh. on the actual PDF format, it will be for cylinder port two and four, in yep. which you can attach, and then MT is gonna show us how to measure it properly. Yes, because the engine number uh, left side and right side sitting in the head are like a twist, one forward, one backward. Yeah, there's an actual angle. Yes, yeah, so that, right? it's really simple. You just download it and uh, like a A4 paper and cut on a hard board yeah. paper. So uh, you would just print it out and then attach the A4, or you, if you're in the States, the US letter paper, yeah. uh, print out a sheet and then stick it on a piece of cardboard and cut out the shape and then attach it like this. And then, then, then simple, then we simple, have you just measure. this two little guy here, from here to here. The original engine is 400 millimeter or 40 centimeter. So if you have this measurement, you have stock 1600 cc engine. Okay. So, uh, so the uh, I think we just want to illustrate that yes. the main point of having this is due to if you focus in over here, this one's further in, and this one's a bit out. Now, if you if you were to take a tape measure, then it would be. It, it wouldn't be completely accurate. That's why we have this piece. Yes. Where you can measure the distance as this has slightly more offset over here. Yes. Yeah. So you just you just just measure from this point to this point. If you have 400 millimeter, yeah. you so have the stock with engine. Yeah. Um, I think the last question, which also pertains to our heater boxes, some people, they, yeah, they order our vintage speed exhaust and then they say it doesn't fit with yes. their original heater box. And then comes like, oh, they, they've had other aftermarket exhaust 
they work, but yes. ours don't work. Why is that? And how do we address this problem? Okay, so uh, on VinGSP exhaust system, you check this here. Yeah. We've got a f adjustable flange here. Okay, so both sides. So that's, uh, it's plus or minus four millimeters, which is yes. equivalent to three sixteenths of an inch uh, to make sure that it fits. Yes, that means uh, plus four, plus four is plus eight. You know, yeah. and minus four narrow engine, minus four is minus minus eight. Yeah, so there's quite a bit of distance that you can uh, play around with, uh, with our adjustable flange. Okay, and we will provide uh, this piece of paper also, that give you the original width is let's say six hundred and forty nine millimeter, and the super narrow engine you can bolt up to six hundred and thirty eight and really wide engine you can do 651 okay so if you back go back to major your heater box is smaller than this number and greater than this number that means your heater box has been modified before yeah so in this case you might need to get a new set of heater box to make it fit perfect. Also, uh, on that note, yes, uh, Chaki, one of our very you know long-term partners in Japan, uh, he's had some of these exhausts, and there has been these issues. So we're addressing that. One of the main things that you mentioned before was yes. um, the bolt in the back. Yes. Yeah. So that you might want to run through our fans to see how you can adjust the back. So. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, give me ten seconds. I need to bring. Okay. When you have this piece of paper, uh, the original number is six hundred and forty-nine, and the minimum is six thirty-eight or six fifty-one. The really white engine. If you want try to fit uh, smaller than this or larger than this, you can do this way you can lose the two bolt at the back right here make it loose just hand tight okay tight by hand that means you have a little bit uh, movement so it's no moving here right but you see the front it's moved a lot okay so in this case you can So you, this guy, you can, you can it attach the exhaust already. So you can attach to heater box because it's free. Okay, so you line up, for example, it's super wide here. And you can attach the exhaust in. And you can start to secure all the nut here. After secure everything, this side, you can go to the back side to secure the bolt. That is a temporary fix. If you really want to fit your original heater box, you don't want to get another set, you can do this way. So because uh, the distance of the heater box is very long, that means you have lots of room to play around. Yeah, so any movement in the back would lead to maybe what, four, four to four five? Four to five, five, yes. Yeah, four to five millimeters. So you can here. And come up, see this angle again. We have no gap here, okay? It's like uh, thinner than my nail, all right? But you look at the front. But yeah, the movement here is... Look, it's super. It's, it's up to like a centimeter or even more. Well, it's yeah, half inch. Yeah. Okay, so that's simple to put a vintage speed exhaust into your old heater box. If you have any more problems or any issues, DM us. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.